stop doing that! Just stop! Lose! What is wrong with you? Beautiful. Two weeks of tennis have concluded in the final between Novak Djokovic and Nick Kyrgios, where Novak Djokovic won the 21st Grand Slam and therefore broke my heart and ruined my weekend. But at least for the first time in a long time I was excited for the final because there was something new happening. New, let's call him up and coming player Nick Kyrgios is playing in the final and actually bringing some emotion to it. Obviously Novak is still Novak and he is always the favorite when he is playing. But this time it felt like Nick could do something, he could win actually. And at least he didn't look like he's scared of playing a big player, like most of the guys previously who played him have been. I actually think that Kyrgios winning would be better for tennis and I think it's unfortunate that he lost. Because, and I want to preface it, I am not hoping for the fall off of the big three in any way, shape or form and I am definitely not trying to demoralize the new generation. But at the end of the day, I just want the tennis world to shift from these constant gold debates that mean nothing. They mean absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. And they have been happening for 15 years, it seems like. And the only way it can happen is if the next gen finally sends them into retirement. But it looks like it will not happen anytime soon. One of the other things that I found amusing about this final is that people were hate watching this match and it's funny they just try to show their i don't know their stance on these players but again it doesn't matter twitter is not real and that shows when many people are congratulating kirios or congratulating novak for the win at the tournament because in the twitter world these guys are hated but in the real world people can't separate tennis from, from normal life, but these dumbass, bum ass stan accounts cannot do that because they cannot comprehend that a player on the court might be a bit different than he is outside of it. And the post match interviews were amazing, they made me feel like this actually was fun and it was not about the legacy or something else. Players looked like they were actually happy to be on the center court on the Sunday night and that's what's the most important thing of the sports in general it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to bring people together and I highly doubt that anyone who was in the stands on the center court was disappointed with how the match went even though he ruined my Sunday still huge respect to Novak Djokovic because he played very well and he's starting to become a bit more likable for me at least. So who knows, there might be a Grand Slam final where I'm actually rooting for him. But for now, I'ma go have 700 drinks bro and I will drown my pain. But you, the viewer, just take it easy my friend.